When it comes to Wilbur and Orville Wright, Dr. Tom Crouch pretty much knows everything. As a curator, he does lots of research, writes books, and is responsible for a vast collection of airplanes and other important aviation artifacts. He says most flying machines can trace their aeronautical beginnings to the Wright brothers. When they looked at the whole problem of the flying machine, they recognized that it really had three parts. You had to be able to build wings that would generate lift that would get you into the air. You had to have a propulsion system that would move you forward fast enough to get into the air. And once you were there, you had to have a way to control yourself. The Brothers 1903 Wright Flyer is the world's first airplane. It hardly flew the length of a football field, but it was a powered, heavier-than-air, pilot-controlled airplane. They did it by solving one technical problem at a time. Control was the one area nobody had given very much thought to. The Wright brothers, on the other hand, were bicycle builders and bicycle designers. And they said to themselves, you know, if you think about riding a bicycle, if you think about trying to explain it to, say, a Martian or someone who's never seen a bicycle, what? You want me to roll down a hill on these two little thin rubber things and I have to balance from side to side and there are these handlebars I have to manipulate and oh yeah, there are pedals I have to pump. You know, it would sound as though you had to be the world's greatest acrobat to ride this thing. But the Wright brothers knew that once you learned how to ride a bike, you internalized it and it became automatic. And they knew that the same thing would be true of an airplane. So Orville and Wilbur Wright did test flights with handmade kites and gliders over the sandy dunes of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Focusing on control, it's as if the brothers imagined a flying machine like a flying bike. The control system became known as wing warping. You're flying along and you're struck by a wind gust, so this begins to happen. What you want to do is decrease the lift on this side, and that means turn the wingtip down a little bit to the air, and on this side, turn it up a little bit, increase the lift, so you come right back up like this. The Wright brothers were self-made engineers. You'll see that Orville is laying inside a cradle that goes around his hips, and to control wing warping, the lateral motion, he shifts his hips from side to side. And when he does that, he pulls wire through the airplane that puts the twist uh, into the wings. Right next to him, uh, you see the engine. They built the engine themselves. It only develops about 12 and a half horsepower. Not only does everything work, but it works in conjunction. Everything is connected. The machine is almost organic. The Wright brothers were just superb engineers. After the first flight of 1903, the Wright brothers would return to their home in Dayton, Ohio and perfect their amazing invention.